we oftentimes have ideas that we sort of put on the back burner in the back of our heads. And we're like, oh man, that'd be really cool if we explored that. Early on, we had a lot of different sort of uh, villains in mind and, and some thoughts about what we would do, what would really maximize everything and make it the most fun possible. And um, as soon as we hit upon Mouthiel, we sort of fell in love with the idea because again, like when do you get to ever really fight death itself. I think that's sort of that's a, sort of a dream project. It also supports uh, everything that we're doing within the game itself. You have the Crusader class that I think really fits into that setting where the environments are fitting also into that whole theme of it. So uh, Reaper of Souls is really a nice, consistent and, and all-encompassing package. Yeah, I think, I think people just really fell in love with the idea of fighting a fallen angel. I think after fighting all the, all the prime evils, it sort of felt, oh, it feels different and yeah. awesome and, and pretty exciting. I think one of the big goals that we have for Reaper Souls is really sort of a fundamental reshift in the way we think about loot and itemization for, for, for Diablo. And the whole, like, internally what we call Loot 2.0 is really built around the core philosophy of dropping less, better, and more epic items. And really what we're trying to do is make sure that playing the game is the most rewarding and the most fun way to find items in, in, in Diablo. Right, so this, you know, we still feel there is a legitimate sort of role for the auction house because people like to trade items and we want to be able to provide a sort of safe and secure way for players to, be, to trade those items. But at the end of the day, so we feel that in-game is, is the best place to find those items. So loot runs are a, I think, fantastic way of condensing the promise that is Diablo into these 15 to 20 minutes sort of condensed, you know, super concentrated chunks of fun. Players will step into a portal and experience a fully randomized dungeon layout with fully randomized monsters, weather, and more importantly, bosses. And if you defeat those bosses, uh, you're gonna be getting some pretty epic loot. So the Crusader for us is really exciting because we love our five current classes, but the sixth class here was really sort of a, the fulfillment of the fantasy of a heavy armored guy, the giant shield and a flail. It gives you that uh, very gothic feel that we love uh, about the Diablo universe. What we really wanted to do is to sort of have this great class that can play up close and personal, but also has great ranged abilities as well. So it's a good mix of short range and mid range combat. And all the skills have this great synergy, so you can do a lot of really cool combo uh, style combinations. Our philosophy overall has always been focus on uh, getting the PC version rock solid, we ship that, and then we transition to the current generation of, of consoles. And you know, we're just about to ship that in sort of two weeks, and now the whole team is sort of shifting onto getting Reaper Souls ready for, for PC. So this is, we have this sort of pattern of leapfrogging sort of re releases. So we have no announcements at this stage, but if you look at our past, you can probably sort of deduce the future. We also want to make sure that every time we uh, uh, release uh, the game for a particular platform, uh, that it really plays to the strengths of that platform. And we put a lot of work into actually customizing uh, Diablo, both for the console and for the PC. Uh, there's a lot of little subtle tweaks we've made, uh, some more noticeable, some less, but um, we definitely make sure that it, it lives up to uh, the quality level that we set for ourselves. I think the sort of PlayStation 4 has a lot of potential, and uh, so right now we're, we just got our dev kits in the office, and we're really sort of getting our hands on, on that controller and trying to figure out how can we really sort of make Diablo feel awesome on the DualShock 4 controller. So right now we're planning a release at some point in 2014. Fundamentally, we always want to make sure that whether you're playing it on PC or you're playing it on console, that it feels like it's been an experience hand-tailored for that, for that platform.